Welcome back to Maypole Farm. My name is John Greenway and we are busy here ploughing. We've got ourselves a three furrow reversible plough and we are working on getting all this land ploughed so we can get drilled up and ready for the next year's crops. As of yet we have no plans to grow potatoes or sugar beet so uh, we shall try and keep ourselves as straight as we can. We haven't got a tractor with GPS on so uh, we'll do it by eye and uh, we missed a piece there, a bit of stubble sticking through the ploughing. We have got four wheel drive on so we are getting the maximum traction we can out of our little Fiat. That's our little Fiat, it does boasts 150 horsepower so it's fine with this three for a plough. Does plough a lot better with three for than it did the five for a before we got the course it one way plough. Uh, this reversible plough doing a great job so speeding up the job pretty well. And, uh, very grateful that with the new maps you've got out on Farm Simulator 17 that Summer Farm Estates is allowing us to do our vlog series here on Maple Farm. I do believe that there's a version of my farm out on Farm Simulator 19 as well, so uh, it's great. You too can have a farm like John Greenway's. This is a biggish field, so uh, one of our bigger fields we have in our possession at the moment. well once we get the drill out we should be soon be ready for the sheep we do need to try and get ourselves a grass mower mow some grass somewhere we don't whether we own any grass fields we may have to transform one of our fields into grass right, we do want to get started on sheep that's some sheep, but uh, whether we will or not, I don't know yet. This is a nice, soothing job. This is something a little slower than many of the jobs we do on the farm not in terms of the straight line speed but 
just the actual working width you're doing at a time it uh, does take a little longer than most jobs driving in the furrow nicely we have to sit a little crossways on so we'll have to have our tea breaks at the end of the field when we are on level ground so my plus doesn't spill coffee all over when I try to pull the cup yeah we've got big plans moving forward we want to we've only got the one tractor at the moment we need to get ourselves another tractor we did I uh, a old case for a little while but uh, we do need to find the money and purchase ourselves a second tractor this tractor didn't cost us a lot we paid 59,000 for this if we can get another tractor in that sort of price range ready for next year's carting and that will be great do believe we can get sort of the case 10.55 or 12.55 or a 14.55 XL to uh, get ourselves a tractor which has got a bit more speed than this. This tractor has got good power. The problem that we have with it is when you want it to be carting stuff away from the farm it is a little slow. doesn't get you there any too quickly so uh, yeah we will try and get a pasta tractor the combine we have I think is ideal for the size of the fields that are around this area and, uh, it's looking Very much a point of call is the tractor dealers to see if we've got any. We often have the older tractors because we, being a smaller farmer, need the second hand tractors. The bigger farmers in the area they are upgrading and buying bigger tractors. So uh, hopefully there'll be something to suit before too long not really bothered about what brand we get at the minute we are building up our farm and uh, in doing that we need to have the older equipment to get us going but, uh, yeah this field and I think one more after this to plough we don't do all our work on video of course a lot of the work we do we are a real working farm we progress on off camera a lot and so probably all this ploughing by the time you join us again majority of the ploughing will be done if not all of it Backed into the edge there that's not a good thing and we come back into our furrow up down to the bottom end again so yeah everything 
working nicely on the plough. Although the plough is getting a little worn, it's still working pretty well. We will, of course, uh, be looking at what tractors we can buy and initiate onto the palm. I did see an advert for a older model John Deere. Oh, went turn the plough yet. Always a good idea to turn the plough first. You can see the hydraulicos there stretching as you go down. It's part of the equipment on the plough that needs a lot of updating and repairing. You often split the hydraulic pipe and instead of turning the plough it just spews oil all over the place. But, uh, regular maintenance will sort that. We have got to get ourselves some more sheds as well as quickly as we can. Another thing we've got to think about, we've got to save money as well as buying another tractor what we need. We've got to work out enough money to extend the farm buildings we've got. We need a storage for the grains, we need a workshop and some more vehicle sheds. So we shall see and also, of course, we need to pay back some of this loan we've got. I did have a phone call off the bank saying if I want a loan to pop in and see them. They are happy with the fact that we have done an harvest that they will let us borrow some more money. Yeah, there's a lot of things that need doing around here. We have bought ourselves an house now instead of going back to the B&B &B each night, which also saving us a bit of money. Not sure how much actually we own owe to the bank, half a million pounds, so yes we could feasibly borrow another bit of money to buy our other tractor, build the farmyard up to where we want it. But, uh, I want to be sure that we are working in the right direction before we take out any more loan. The last thing we need is take out more money, have a big loan, be unable to pay anything back and have the farm taken off us, the bank will readily lend us the money. It's easily. But just it will take the farm off us if we can't repay the loan, so uh, needs careful consideration to get the loan I'm not just going to jump in both feet first, I'll dip my toe in the water first of all and uh, see where we stand on that did actually hear someone selling a John Deere, it's an older John Deere but 
with a brand like John Deere you feel pretty safe in the knowledge that it will be fairly reliable whether that's unfounded trust or what I don't know I've never owned a John Deere the only tractor I've owned is this one what you see well yeah this one what you see before you the kit the truth of the tractor we had was a case international which we hired until we could afford to buy one and this tractor came up at a farm dispersal sale at a reasonable price of 59,000 really we first to get it it was much needed it was saving us money on iron the case so uh, we did have a chance of buying the case but it didn't really have enough power for what we wanted as the main workhorse of the farm this one had had a good service before we purchased it <coughs> The only problem I had with it was the clocks weren't working when we got it, but we took that into the dealers. Well, the tractor actually cost us 55000 and the clocks weren't working, so the rest of the money was spent getting all those sorted out and fitted on. Hence the fact that it's only reading at 9.3 hours, that is what it's done since it's been on our farm I think the actual engine hours on it was something like 5,850 or something like that so uh, yeah not a new tractor by any means Plowing pretty deep, you can tell by the way the tractor is angled over that we've got a decent sized furrow to drop our wheel in. The area around here will transform markedly once we start putting up the sheds we, at the moment we are working as well as deciding whether to buy borrow another few thousand to do all the work we need <coughs> excuse me we are in the process at the moment of getting planning permission although there was a farm here a few years ago a lot of the buildings were sold off, pulled down to get his money for his retirement on the last farmer. The plot of land which said it had uh, potential for building regulations to get past so uh, we, uh, we had one shed here when we started so uh, that was pretty good at least we've got the combine at the moment under cover that shed will remain although we want to put more permanent stuff up than that steel framework with a roof on that will if we do decide to have animals we'll be the uh, straw storage and if grass or I 
comes onto the farm then uh, there we go right back in so yeah we are getting across this field slowly but surely once you leave us once the GoPro back GoPro battery goes flat we will continue ploughing before I take it to the house to charge it up I think this farm was growing a bit of everything when the last person owned it We may venture into potatoes at some point down the line. But, uh, at the minute, I'm quite happy just to grow the cereal crops. I don't want to be. I was, well, forgot to turn the plough, never mind. Just putting an extra root into the furrow in the middle of the field there, but. Uh, at least this time we can turn round without turning it and it will be the right direction. dropping in the furrow this time as you notice with not leaving one so next time down we should tilt more again we will do as much as we can with you Remember to turn the plough jump. There we go again now. Now we see we're tilting again. We're in the furrow properly again. Now we've turned the plough the right way. Uh, we've come a fair way across the field already, so... Uh, Everything working pretty well. You can see we've come from that piece there, so uh, we're doing pretty well at the moment. It's 20 to 10 in the morning, so we shall get a good lot of this field ploughed today. I hope we can get the other field ploughed as well. And away we go again. Got the headlands to do, of course, once we finish the main body of the field. But uh, it's nice views here, right out on this end of our farm where we are now. They're away from all the traffic, away from the houses, and uh, it does lend itself to people who's not bothered about spending time alone as much as anything. I mean, that's one thing that I liked about the area. I'm a bit of a loner. Always was through my school years and uh, hated working with other people a lot, so working here on our own is a great way to make a living. Here we are now out 
able to see, like John there, the other side of the edge. Uh, you can see the next field we've got to plough. There we go again. Yeah, next time you join us, we may well be cultivating, ready for the seed going in. It's another reason we could do with another tractor to get a front loader for the seeds. Don't really want to be running backwards and forwards to the shop if we can help it. Which is the other option we have to us. Is that we can fill the drill up, come and drill until the drill is empty then pop back to the vehicle dealers to pick up the next drill full of seed all oh, this working nicely for us and, uh, tractor is singing along not troubled by the three for a plough as you'd expect with 150 horsepower under the bonnet it's uh, Quite leisurely in here now. But, uh, not sure how it will go once we get it on something a bit bigger, but uh, doing great guns down here to my mind. Do a couple more rounds after this one and then we shall leave you or we'll get on with the ploughing off camera Tractor, as you hear that, sounding nice as it purrs along down this field with the plough on. Well, between now and the next time you join us, we may go through, through the Farmers Weekly and see what, if anything, is for sale in our area. What farm sales there may be, or whatever source of buying vehicles we can find. May well also, before you join us again, go and talk to the bank manager and see what he says about building the sheds and the silo systems. Everything needs to be thought about hard, but uh, we are looking forward to expanding the farm, so could well be a good idea. I'll do the sums tonight when I'm in front of the log fire. And if the sums add up, 
and we will take out a bit more of a loan but for now you've been watching Maypole Farm and me John Greenway doing our ploughing if you've enjoyed this vlog please give it a like give it a share drop a comment some of our mistakes will pass on any messages and any comments if you're new to some of our mistakes channel and would like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel ring on the bell it will tell you when we do the videos when we do the live streams until next time this is John Green saying thank you for watching until next time keep safe bye bye for now